Double Diamond Railroad back. We're going to do some, record some video of troubleshooting the switch, and we already found what it is, as I suspected. Let me get you closer. Okay, we'll try that. You can see the light at the bottom. I'll keep it down. Right now, quit working. There you go. Right there. Get something sharper to point with. Keep my hand out of the way. Right there on the pivot. It's not... It's not back here on the point. It's right here on the pivots. Both of them. Both sides. Push down on it. So here's the one because we're going straight through. If we go... Cause see, I can even do it here. Flex that thing. So it's the electrical contact right in here. Now we're going to try try some deoxid. I didn't even get the didn't even get the voltmeter out yet because I found it right away. Let's use the other end of this. So, oh, it's making contact. I'm afraid that's going to be a problem. I don't think any matter of cleaning, it's just not making electrical contact underneath. They have a little, like a little shoe under there that goes with the rail. It rubs against that. I don't know, I can try to flush it with alcohol. So work it enough that it'll get down in there. But that's what's going on. Train, see it's good there. He drives up on there, hits that rail, the weight of it. And it breaks contact. Definitely the switch mechanics right here. Right down in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's right, right there on the pivots. Pivot there, pivot there. Okay, we're going to get a toothbrush out and scrub it. Soak it and scrub it. See if we can make it happen. Back out so you can see the light. See what the light's doing. I do have a micro brush I can clean the points with too. So we're going to soak this toothbrush with deoxid. Try to get in here. Problem is it's underneath. That's a problem. You can see how unstable it is. Now let's see. Better, but still a problem. So we're going to Take that back. See if we can get this round file between the points. I see stuff down in there. Try to make it a little more conductive in there. And we'll do this side.
clean it out a little bit. Yeah, we're getting black. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Put it against white. Look at that. Definitely dirty in there. Let's get another one. Break out my micro brushes. Okay, this one over here is not so dirty. See what this guy comes out like again. He's still pretty dirty. Just trying to get as much surface contact as we can. Still pretty black. Coming out black. Use one more. Don't know if that's paint or carbon buildup or what. Better. A lot better. Now let's see what it does. I think we still got problems. I don't see fixing this from the top. Yeah, see as soon as you push any weight down, I'm having to push a lot harder than it was. It's that one over there. That's a bummer. We gotta figure out a way to get something slid under there. If I could find my burnishing tool, it would probably slide under there. So I'm gonna try some alcohol in there next. Okay, we poured some alcohol in. I don't think I can get it from the top side. It's looking shiny. It's taking all the paint off. See, it's still cutting out. Right there. That one's pretty good. That's the main one we need for the siding. That's where it always cuts out. I try to put some down pressure on it. See if we can make a tighter connection. It's underneath there. This looks like I got a jumper on the bottom. It needs it needs power here. If I put power there, then that's something to find out. Move this over. If I jumper power to there, like underneath or something. I can't even get a connection. See, so not getting a connection. Barely, see, he ain't getting power there. He needs power to the closer rail because it's not carrying from the point rail from back here. Point rail's tight, doesn't matter. flex that whole thing so you'd have to jumper from this rail back here over to there that's a possibility then I think it'd be good I think it's the one side that's giving us trouble can't jumper from back here because it's taking its power from this end. That wouldn't help. You have to, could drop down, so put a jumper over there, feeder, 
drop down through and take a feeder from here, drop down through and tie it off of a jumper up here. Look at that. It's even that up there is flexing. And there's a joint right there. Not helping. Backing up back in there. He has a power jump, feeder drop, feeder drop, feeder drop. Tie them together underneath to, let's see. Well, if you just drop the feeder from here and there and there and solder this joint right here, should be enough, should be enough voltage there, current. Let's go to the good side. Yeah, see we got power here. It's really not, see that doesn't affect it now. So if I take power from this side of the switch, like over here drop down where it's good before the join even, and drop a feeder down and a feeder down and tie them to this one over here, I should be able to make it work. So I think I'm going to do that. That's a good solid electrical approach. Save turn the switch out. Let's we'll see if we can make that happen. Stay tuned, we'll be back later with a remedy. Okay, we're back. I found what the problem is. You might even be able to see it. The closure rail on the left, where it meets the point, it's broken loose there. There was a jumper. I must have done this before I installed that switch because it's been replaced once. But this closure rail right there, see? You can't see the light coming on but it's moving it's freely moving and there's a jumper underneath which is broke loose now so what I gotta do is get this might have to CA at first hold it down then I'm gonna solder drop solder in on this side where the jumpers are because that's all you need I don't even need to go underneath. The brake is right there. As soon as you hold it down, it works because there's an old jumper underneath. So I think we're going to hold it down, CA it. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. I don't know why it's tripod so unstable. You can see it. See the solder blob. I was afraid to wheel flange it hip, but it doesn't. I tried to suck. I'm going to suck a little bit more out with some braid and a little bit of rough edge there going up from the point up I'm going to try to file that down I'll take the maybe take the Dremel do that sand it down a little bit but it's going through there mechanically this engine still has truck contact electrical issues keeps proving I'm going to pull out the 8833 SD40 see how he goes through so you can see the repair. Let's see if I can get it up. No, I can't. I'm trying to zoom that in. That's all I got. So now we have power from the outside rail to the outside closure rail. And it's good. It's good down here. There you can see that. I can push. All those areas, same place I did before, and the light stays on. So we fix that, that's all it needed, because it's getting from this outside rail, bridge over that, that was just broke off and the rails broke loose. So really it needs replaced, because that rail's not really that secure. I put some CA, now I soldered it, but not perfect lineup. You can feel a catch right there. I got a file that down gently so I'm going to use the Dremel with the stone so here we go I got to take him off can't run over with the train 
wear my main cabin master's shirt pretty new got a couple months ago it's only been worn like three times now it's catching on the handle kind of stretchy stuff so here we go going to back in and it's still cutting out this engine's cutting out sometimes That's eight miles an hour. I think I need to order new trucks for it. I think it's a rear truck. Slow down to six. There's a little glitch right there, but it kept going. That's a mechanical. Okay, so that's good. Down to four. We're doing way better. Just fine tune it some more. Get the grinder out. Get it perfectly right mechanically see if we can make it do better even with this engine it's questionable it's his truck contacts i think he runs over anything a little bit left or right tip and it'll cut out it's four miles an hour pretty good If this guy can do that, I'm going to call the switch good, other than some fine polishing on the joint there. Big improvement. Solved the electrical problem anyway. That's what matters. Stopping because we don't want a couple. Okay, I'll wrap that up. I have to dig out my drum won't change the head on it. I can't even remember where it is. It's, it's around here somewhere. Oh yeah, I know where it is. Down here in a box marked mini drill. I think that's where it is. Unless that's really a mini drill. I think that's what I use though. Got some moldy attachments in there. We'll take care of it. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. We've got storms coming in uh, about two hours, I think. I didn't go outside. The heat index was 111 and temperature in the 90s, low 90s. Higher than it was supposed to have been today. Take care, guys. Be safe. Double Diamond Railroad out.